Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a highly realistic photo using the Flux model in Comfy UI. We'll also explore an incredible upscaling method called the Tile method. This approach is one of the most effective ways to upscale any image seamlessly. First things first, head over to Comfy UI blog on. Navigate to the workflow section where you can download all the required workflow flows and resources to get started. Once you've downloaded the necessary files, open Comfy UI. Upload the workflow you just downloaded. Here's the workflow we'll be working with today. To use this workflow, you need the PixelWave Flux Dev model. What's PixelWave Flux Dev? It's essentially a fine, tuned version of the Flux model. Let me explain. Imagine the Flux model is like someone who knows how to walk but doesn't know how to dance. By fine tuning, we train it to dance, making it much better at specific tasks like producing hyper realistic images. For users with lower VRAMs at 2 or 3 GB, go for the Q4 version of the model. If you have 6 GB of VRAM, Use the FP8 version. For those with higher VRAM, like 12 GB or more, I recommend the BF16 version. That's what I'm using here. Once downloaded, place the model file in the Diffusion Model folder within Comfy UI. Next, let's talk about clip models. For clip 1, I use the ClipEye model from Flux. For clip 2, I use t 5 xlfp 8 also from Flux. In addition to the model, we'll use an upscaling file. Download it and save it in the upscale model folder of Comfy UI. Now, let's get into the workflow. I've divided this into two groups. One basic image generation. The other focuses on advanced upscaling. We'll compare results with and without the advanced lying Sigma sampler node. This sampler has a dishonesty factor which tweaks image sharpness and detail levels. For instance, setting the dishonesty factor to minus 0.1 sharpens the image and adds subtle details. Increasing it to minus 0.5 enhances finer textures but can sometimes overdo it. To demonstrate, I've disabled upscaling node. Let's generate an image without it first. Here's the prompt we're using. A middle. Aged male looking directly at the camera close. Up shot with a beard and a ring. Now, compare the results without the Sigma sampler node. The image looks decent but has a slightly plastic appearance. With Sigma sampler node, the image gains a more realistic finish, especially in facial details. Let's try a new setting for the dishonesty factor, minus 0.5. This setting adds even more intricate details. However, if you overdo it, like using minus 0.5, it can worsen the results. Instead, I recommend minus 0.2 for a balanced enhancement. Look closely at the changes when switching from minus 0.5 to minus 0.2. The images become sharper and more natural but the best setting is usually minus 0.1. Experiment and see what works best for you. Lastly, let's talk about steps. For optimal results, I suggest sticking to 30 steps. Play around with these settings and workflows to create stunning, detailed images. By using this node, you can significantly enhance your results. Let's try another example. We'll also explore the tile upscaling method to upscale images effectively. Here's an example. Let's look at the results without the Sigma sampler. At first glance, it might be challenging to spot the differences. However, if you examine closely, especially the hair and skin details, you'll notice the magic. After applying the Sigma tool, the image looks noticeably better. With the Sigma tool, the skin appears more realistic and natural. Without it, the image retains a slightly plastic-like finish. This tool adds subtle but important details. Giving AI generated images a much more lifelike appearance. Take a closer look. 
and it becomes evident which version looks more realistic. It's these small details that elevate an image's realism. Now let's try another example. First, we'll enable upscaling. Here, we'll use the tile method to upscale the image. Let me show you how it works. The tile method cuts an image into six smaller pieces, processes each one individually, and then combines them back into a single, enhanced image. This approach ensures no quality loss during the upscaling process. You get a sharper, more refined version of your original image. For this demonstration, I've divided the image into six tiles. Using two images, I've merged them into one and added a fill LUT, a version 2 for extra polish. Al film grain LUTs add a touch of realism to your image by simulating the texture of real film. Look closely and you'll notice the transformation. Here's the result rule. By using two tiles for this example, we've enhanced the image step by step. As you can see, uh, the final output looks incredible after applying upscaling and UTs. The best part, even the teeniest details remain intact after upscaling. This method ensures you don't lose any quality while dramatically improving the overall look. After adding LUTs, uh, the image feels more vibrant and realistic. This technique is hands down one of the best methods to upscale images while maintaining their integrity. There are many tools available for upscaling, but the tile method stands out for its balance of precision and quality. Give it a try, a and you'll see the difference. Let's try another example. Picture this a vampire lady with a mysterious vibe and perfectly stressed shoulders. Let's generate image. Now, Take a look at these results. Notice the difference before and after applying the advanced Sigma sampler, the details. Crisp, the depth, perfectly refined. Here's the magic after upscaling. The results are even more striking. Let's compare both images. See how the skin texture pops with realism in the upscaled version. Sometimes LUTs don't always hit the mark. It's all about finding the right settings for your scene. Let's analyze this image post upscale. Look at the detail, the skin, the atmosphere. Everything is balanced beautifully. This is where the Sigma tool and upscaling work their charm. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, hit that subscribe button for more creative tips and tricks. Stay tuned for more and remember to, to keep experimenting with your workflows.